friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a huge makeup haul with you guys and if I seem really excited in this video it's because I love new makeup. New makeup is my love language and I have not purchased this much makeup in so long so I am ecstatic. I can't wait. So without further ado let's get right into the video. Okay, so I have a ton of makeup here to share with you guys. I mean, I have boxes. Let's see. I have a few boxes here um, that I've ordered and some of it I went out and purchased myself. Um, and one of these things was sent to me, so I'll let you guys know what that is as well. Um, I haven't used any of these products because I've been waiting to film this video before I did. Um, even though I've been like dying for it to all come in so I could film so I could use it all. But um, I have waited and so sound off in the comments if you would like me to film a first impression on any of these. Some of these were repurchased products that I have used in the past or used in my kit. But some things are new to me and new um, that I haven't tried out before. So let's get started. Um, let's see. I'll just scrub. We'll start with this four box. Hello. Um, there's actually not much in here. But let's see. What else did I order? Okay. So the first thing I ordered is this Hourglass Ambient Light Powder. Um, this is the shade, let's see, Luminous Light. I only got the mini version of this because these are kind of expensive. I do get a discount on these through be, um, my pro membership with Nigel Beauty. But I just ordered this one from Sephora because I didn't want to purchase the full size one um, unless I liked it. So I've heard this is really good for brides and um, just a very subtle highlight. So I did want to buy this to try on myself and if I do like it, I'm going to buy one for my kit. For my brides and um, I'll probably purchase another one for myself so because this is tiny I'll probably go through this one really fast but I can swatch it for let's see yeah you can't really you can't really see that hmm. it's it's very subtle um, and I've seen some people use this all over the face it's kind of like a powder to even kick off like after you bake under your eyes just kind of kick off that powder and dust it under your eyes and stuff to kind of um, I guess highlight and bring more luminosity to your skin. So I'm really excited about this. I've been waiting to try this out forever. Um, the next thing I have is these. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, it's the Stila um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. These are so raved about on Instagram, YouTube, everything, and I've been dying for forever to try these out. Let's see. Okay, the shades in here are Rose Gold, Kenton Karma, Smol and Smoldering Satin. They look a little bit darker than, let's see if you can see that. There we go. They look a little darker than they did online, but let's see, I think Kenton Karma was the one I want to try out the most, so I'll swatch that for you guys. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Can you guys see that? Oh my word. Okay. This is going on Mama's ass tomorrow. I have a wedding tomorrow, and I don't usually like to go full on glam, but I mean, hello. You can go subtle with that. It could just be a subtle sparkle. I don't know. I'm really excited about that. Okay, moving on. Oh, one of the things I got. I need an eyelash curler. I have one in my kit, but I never use one on myself. My eyes, like, naturally, or my eyelashes naturally kind of flip up themselves themselves. They they kind of curl up on their own naturally. I guess it's the way I sleep in them. I don't know. But I never really use the eyelash curler. But now that I'm starting to um, wear falsies more, I've kind of noticed the separation. So I want to get an eyelash curler to help them kind of blend in better. So I got this one. It's very different looking. It's not like one of the ones that have like the handles. It's just kind of one like you kind of I don't know what that motion is, but you kind of like stamp down. <laughs> but this is what I got. Um, let's see what else did I get. Um, oh, and I just got a sample. I have I have a bunch of points, and sometimes I'll just throw something in my cart. This is a face wash I use literally every single night. It's the Purity Made Simple by um, Philosophy. Yeah, Philosophy. I guess Philosophy. Philosophy is a brand. I need to check on that, but it's this face wash. It, um, I'll just go, at the end of the day, I just go right in with my makeup on and everything, and I use this to just wash off my makeup, wash off everything, and then I go back in with it once my makeup's all off and wash my face again. And but it really does a good job of taking my makeup off and everything, so I love it. Alright, next I'll share with you guys a free product I received. I received a box box from L'Oreal from um, Influencer. Influencer? 
influenced stir. Um, and this is my first box box I've received. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it's an app. It's called Influenced Stir. Um, but they sent me this for free. It's a Pure Sugar Scrub by L'Oreal. It's one of their new masks that they just came out with here. Can you guys see that? It looks like this. I haven't, I literally, it was on my door doorstep today, so I haven't unboxed it or anything. I didn't even know I was approved for this. They're supposed to send you guys an email, I guess, whenever you're approved. Ooh. Girl. Hello. That's going on my face tonight. Hello. Okay. Um, let's see. What does it say? Does it say anything about it? Yes, it says, this scrub with brown, blonde, and white sugar is rich in minerals, melts into the skin for gentle yet effective exfoliation. Hmm, we'll see about that. It smells really good. Um, let's see. It... Yeah, it's one of those exfoliators that like feels like sand, and those are my favorite because I love um, to exfoliate my skin. In the winter months, my skin gets very dry, so I love stuff like this, so I really cannot wait to try this tonight. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. I might even film a separate video on it. I think with Influencer, they like you to film videos on these whenever you receive them for free, so I probably will just do a separate video just on this um, to let you guys know how it worked for me. So. The next store I ordered some items from is Beautylish. Um, it's just a big old box like that. But I ordered quite a few items from them. And can I just say something about Beautylish? Whenever I received this package, I did already open it up. All of my items were just wrapped like a present and like with little bows and everything. It was just so neatly packaged. And Beautylish, their shipping is so fast. They actually even allow you to split your whole total into two payments. Well, they gave me that option. I don't know if it's only two or if it's three. I guess it might be depending on how much you spend, but I don't know anyone who does that. It's not credit based. They just have you put in your card information and they allow you to like pay in payments. So if you are someone who's looking to buy new makeup and you can't afford the full price right then, that's a really great option. And Beautylish has a ton of brands on there, luxury brands, and they have some very affordable brands as well. So Beautylish, you're awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what is this? I haven't even opened this yet. Y'all, this is the most bougie sample I have ever seen in my life. This is an Orbe. Orbe? Am I saying that right? It's just an Orbe, I guess, shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, shampoo and conditioner sample. That's cool. Okay. And so the first products I ordered, some of this is makeup and some of this is skincare, as you just saw with the last influencer box. But I ordered a ton. Well, not a ton. I ordered a few things from The Ordinary. Um, can you guys see that? Yeah, so I ordered their high fluid spreadability primer or high spreadability fluid primer. I ordered their high adherence silicone primer and then I ordered a toner from them. It's called the Glyl glycolic, yeah, I can't read y'all. The glycolic acid 7% toning solution. That's what that looks like. Um, and you guys, I wish I could find prices. These primers were literally under $5, both of them. Th this one might have been six, almost seven, but they're under $10 for primers. And I have heard so many great things about The Ordinary, and they are so affordable. I mean, this toning solution was really cheap as well. I literally cannot wait to try this. I'll probably put all these things in my face in the morning. I'll probably go with the high spreadability fluid primer over the silicone one because I am really dry right now. And this one I think is catered more towards making you look dewy and um, dewy and hydrated. And this one's more for like a mattifying effect. So I'm really excited to try these. Ooh. Okay. And the next thing I ordered from Beautylish was a long time coming and it's so expensive so I'm sorry if you're like a drugstore queen but I've been wanting this forever and that is the Charlotte Tilbury powder or what is it the airbrush flawless finish powder oh my word I cannot wait to try this oh it's so pretty look at that oh. it's like a rose gold packaging this is beautiful all right here we go going in <gasps> Oh my word, you guys, this literally feels like air. Like, I just, I'm shooketh. I am shook. Is that what the kids are saying nowadays? Shook? I don't know. I'm not hip, but whatever shook is, I'm it. <laughs> because this is, oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, can't wait to put this on my face. I'm pretty much going to be wearing all this tomorrow whenever I go to my wedding, so can't wait. I think that is all I got from Beautylish. So the next products I wanted to share with you guys are some things I picked up at Walmart, just drugstore, but these are things I've been wanting to try out for a while. So first thing is this um, flower, 
Flower Beauty blush. Let's see. Um, I have never tried, well, yeah, I've never tried any Flower Beauty actually, I think. It's uh, Drew Barrymore's line at Walmart and I can't get it open. Oh, there it is. <gasps> this packaging is like really hard to get open. Okay, so, ooh, she's in there. Okay. We'll just put that out. Oh, it has shimmer in it. Okay, so this is just a blush I bought. It's in the shade PB4. Warm Hibiscus. Oh, that's the shade of Warm Hibiscus. Um, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you can tell, but it's very pretty. It's very, sh it, it looks shimmery. Can you tell? It does look shimmery, but not like glitter. It just has like a sheen to it. I don't know. I bet that's going to be really pretty. I like more, um, peachy blushes that's just kind of the look I like to go for I don't like anything too bright on my cheeks sometimes I don't even wear blush it's just something I've kind of gone away from but this one looks really pretty and it's just something really light I can throw on and walk out the door when I want some pop of color on my cheeks next thing is another blush um, it's a Milani blush Ooh, this one is a little more loud it's in the shade Coralina I have um, as I shared with my last haul, I think I had a few of their blushes already. I have the shade Belisa Mid Bronze. I have Luminoso. It's, I think, their most popular here on YouTube and in social media. That's the one that's talked up all the time. Um, but Coraline is also a very pretty shade. This one looks like it has a bunch of glitter on it, but it's it's probably one of those that just shows up on the surface. Ooh, that is pretty. It's very peachy, and going into spring, I just wanted something with a little more color in case I did want to do a springy tutorial or something for you guys. I just want to have this option available, so I did purchase this one. Um, and the next product I bought from Milani is one of their lip liners. I actually purchased this one for my kit. Um, this is in the shade Nude. I um, I haven't tried their lip liners before, but there's another artist in Birmingham where I um, book all of my weddings who recommended this lip liner to me, and so I went and picked it up. This one, um, let's see. Ooh. They feel a lot like, can you see that? They feel a lot like um, NAC lip liners. I've seen some reviews that say that they have changed their formula recently. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but this is my first time trying Milani uh, lip liners, and I mean, this one, it, it swashes really well. I mean, it doesn't feel too drying or anything, but I think it'll be good. I'm excited to try it out. It looks a little bit darker than it does in the packaging um, whenever it swatches. It doesn't look as nude as I would like, so I might go back and try to find a lighter shade, but this one's really pretty. Um, it probably will look really good on a lot of my brides or bridesmaids that I use it on. I'll probably throw it in my kit and use it tomorrow, so <laughs> we'll just set that back here for them. The next product I have is, and I've been really excited to try this, I think Tati did a review the other day on her channel about this, um, about some new drugstore products, and this was included in there. It was the Master Chrome Highlighter from Maybelline. I do have their gold one, and it's a little too dark for my skin tone. It just, it shows up really gold on my, um, on my cheekbones, but this one is more of a pinky feel, um, and it, ooh, oh, that's, oh my goodness, y'all, Maybelline is not playing around, this is, this is that Coralina blush swatch, but this is the highlight there beside it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is very gorgeous, I cannot wait to try that out, it does look very pink when I swatched it, but I bet if I go in with a brush, it's going to be very soft, and it'll probably look a lot better on my skin tone, um, compared to that gold one that I've purchased, so if you are a light skin tone, maybe that one will work out for us, I don't know. And the next Milani product I've purchased was just a lip gloss. I mean, this one is pretty glittery, um, but it looked pretty in the tube, so I went ahead and picked it up. Ooh, that's a pigmented gloss. Hello. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm going to go back and buy some more of those. I thought it was going to be, like, super glittery, but... The next two things I have from Maybelline are these liquid lipsticks. I've been dying to try these out. I've seen a ton of influencers here on YouTube review these lately. Um, it's their Super, super Stay Matte matte ink. I cannot talk tonight, you guys. It's their Super Stay Matte Ink, and these are, let's see, what did I get? I got the shade Seductress and Amazonian, um, and let's see. Amazonian just seemed like a really cool color. Ooh, that's not as dark as it looks in the tube, but it's very pretty. There it is right there. That's very pretty. It's like a red, but Maybe an orangey undertone, but very like muted orange. I don't know how to describe it. It's very pretty though. Um, and then I got just this mauvey pink. That's my jam. These mauvey pink tones are 
where where my heart lies. There it is beside the Amazonian there. Whew. I'm horrible at holding up these swatches too. Um, but yeah, those are very pretty. I'm excited. And um, I have tried those out. I've tried out Maybelline lip products before and they're always really comfortable on my lips. So I'm really, I have high hopes for these and they're super pigmented. So hopefully they'll last all day. I'll let you guys know how these wear. Okay, so the next product is a rebuy and it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. I love this stuff because it's a pressed powder, but it's from the drugstore, but it's phenomenal. Um, I think I first learned of this stuff from Laura Lee here on YouTube. She's a huge beauty blogger, YouTuber, um, but she uses it and she really likes it. It's a very fine feeling powder um, and it's really good to set your makeup with and then touch up throughout the day because it is translucent so it doesn't look cakey. Um, but I've hit pan on mine so I had to repurchase it and all the letters and stuff are rubbed off of the um, lid of mine and whenever I'm doing Instagram videos and stuff like that I wanted a new product so I can actually show people what I'm using. <laughs> That sounds really dumb, but I did hit the pan on mine, so I had to repurchase it. <laughs> oh, and the next product I actually did use, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, for I forgot about this, but I did purchase these Kiss Lashes um, from Walmart, the new mink, faux fa mink ones that they have. Um, they're actually what I'm wearing right now. I needed some new lashes because I didn't feel like peeling the glue off the ones that I had already. <laughs> um, so I purchased these and these are my new lovers. I mean, they are so beautiful. I compare these to like my Huda Beauty lashes that I've purchased or my House of Lashes. They are top quality. I mean, it's the first time I've used them, so I haven't, you know, reworn them a few times, but they are so comfortable. The band is thicker, but not too thick. I mean, I just, these have been great. I mean, they're not too long. What I've purchased lately, they've been kind of too long for my eyes because I do have smaller lids and so the lashes have been reaching up to like my eyebrows and just completely covering my eyeshadow look and everything. So I need to get some shorter and these just work for me. What is this? Uh, boudoir? Boudoir? I have so much trouble pronouncing that word, but that's the style that these are in. So I love them. And the next box I have is some stuff I ordered from Ulta. Hello. Um, let's see. Okay, so the first thing, how did this get in here? Okay, I actually ordered this from Beautylish. Um, I don't know how it got in this box. Probably just me throwing stuff around. But this is the Bioderma CBM Gel Gommet. 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 Y'all, we've already established that I can't read in this video, so <laughs> we're just going to move on. It's just this exfoliating purifying gel, and it is another one of those that literally feels like, ooh, yes. Even more so than the L'Oreal one, goodness, this really feels like it has sand in it, and will get literally every little thing <laughs> off my hand, so I can't wait to use this. I'll probably, I'll probably use the L'Oreal one tonight and then use this one for the rest of the week or switch off with them, I don't know. I don't exfoliate my face every single night. I like to exfoliate maybe four to five times a week um, and give my skin a rest maybe on the weekends or something whenever I just need to kind of recover all the pigment I was scrubbed off. But um, that one was from Beautylish and it felt really nice and it smells really clean. So I'll put that back in that box. Um, and so moving on, Ulta. Um, let's see, what did I get in here? Okay, so the first item I purchased is this Wonder Brow. Um, it's just this brow gel that y'all might have seen it on Facebook ads and stuff like that like I have but it's just this gel that's supposed to be waterproof like you see all the little ads that they do of the people like literally drenching their face in water and ooh, why does that have a brush like I'm gonna paint it on what I've seen people do online is that they actually get their eyebrow brush and dip it in there so I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do with this but I just purchased it in the shade Brunette. It looks like it might be a little too light. I recently dyed my hair. and I mean, it might be a good in between color of my blonde and the darkness I have in my hair, but I might actually need to reorder a darker color. But um, I really, I don't know, it went on really smooth. But apparently it dries down really quick, so be careful with that one. But um, I'm excited to try that out. I have such an issue with my brows. We have a love-hate relationship. I love to fill in my brows. I literally, I could not have makeup on, but my brows are always going to be filled in because they're, I just, I used to tweeze them. I had the 90s brows. I mean, super thin and I don't think they'll ever grow back now. So I have to fill my brows. And sometimes when I do, um, and sometimes I 
fill my brows while I'm doing my eye makeup before I put my foundation on and everything. And I always wind up like kind of, I guess, buffing them away <laughs> on accident. So if this stuff dries down like it's supposed to, hopefully it will prevent that. And this might be a new holy grail for me. I have high hopes. We'll see. Okay. And so the next thing I have purchased, I've I uh, purchased two shades in these, and they're really similar. Similar. It's this uh, Catrice Liquid Camouflage. Let me see. Here we go. I have two shades in those. They're really similar. Um, I actually think this shade right here. What is it? Porcelain is going to be my shade. I have Light Natural and Porcelain. Um, I. Ooh, it says it's waterproof too. We'll see about that. I don't do much crying, but if I did, I guess. It's about to be spring. I can be sweating a lot too. But this stuff, ooh, it feels very thin whenever I swatch it. Um, oh yeah, it feels really thin. There is literally, I have not found to this day a concealer that doesn't crease on me. Um, and Tati here on YouTube, she raves about this stuff that she, I see her using it a lot over Shape Tape by Tarte. Um, so I went ahead and ordered these. These are super cheap. I think they were under $10 for these. They might have been like seven or something. I don't know, I'll have to go back and check, but these are super affordable and they they have really good coverage from what I swatched. I swatched it over one of those lip, um, lipstick sw swatches that were still kind of left on my hand and it covered it. So we'll see how these work. Um, I'll let you guys know how they work out for me. I have the thinnest of little lines and creases right under my eyes. I guess I just laugh a ton. I don't know. <laughs> but I there's literally nothing that has worked for me. I've tried baking. I've tried shape tape. I've tried literally everything that I could or everything that's pretty much raved about online and I'm tired of buying a ton of expensive concealers that don't work for me. So I'm going to try to see if I can find a holy grail affordable product that actually does not crease on me <laughs> because I mean I've yet to find anything. Okay, so the next thing I purchased is another concealer. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. Let's see, there you go. Um, I ordered the shade Medium. I think I swatched this in Sephora one time and the light was like literally paper white. And let's see, it won't come out. Oh, yeah, this is gonna, well, I hope it will. Yeah, it's not that light, dang it. It matches my skin tone pretty well, but it's it's super tacky feeling. Wow! But I have I haven't used this on myself, but a bride at a wedding, um, she wanted to use her own concealer once, and she let me use her Bye Bye Under Eye. And whenever I went to take a picture of her at the end of the day and in person, her the under her under eyes looked photoshopped. They looked beautiful, and a bunch of my friends, even in the hair and makeup community, they were like texting me, and I saw a few of them. They're like, Laura, did you like face tune the crap out of that bride because she was looking all kinds of perfect? And I was like, no, it was literally this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer that she let me use on her. So. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully it'll work out. Maybe that's one that might not crease. It is a little more expensive. It was over $20, I think. But if it works, I'm gonna repurchase it a billion times because like I said, I need something that doesn't crease under these eyes. The next thing I have, it was on sale, and I've never tried any of the Too Faced, um, the Too Faced liquid lipsticks before, and this one was on sale for like 10 bucks, I think, when they're regularly like 20 or something like that. But of course, it's one of those mauve pinky shades. Yeah. That's all, literally, that's like all I ordered. That one's a little more nude, um, but, if, ooh, that feels super sticky. So I don't know how I'm gonna like that. I hate whenever I'm wearing lip gloss and it, like my hair moves and like my um, hair sticks to my lip gloss and everything. That is never fun, um, but I will try that out and see how that works out. Um, it was really pigmented though, so it might work. But that's all I have for Ulta. Oh, I only have one more box. We're almost through this thing, guys. Okay, and so the last box I have is from Nigel Beauty Emporium in LA. I ordered a bunch of stuff from them um, using my pro artist discount because, honey, <laughs> you know I love to save some money. Um, so I got a few things from them. These are not new items that just came out or anything. Well. Yeah, I don't think any of them are. Um, but there are things that I haven't tried before that I've heard beauty influencers rave about. So I just went ahead and purchased them because I figured, why not? Now's the time. So the first thing I ordered is this Hourglass, um, let's see, Vanish Stick. It's the, the it's their Vanish Foundation. Oh, um, I've received a sample from this uh, from Sephora before, and I loved the way it felt and wore 
throughout the day so I went ahead and purchased the full size of this and I just got this one in so this is probably going to be going right on my vanity that I made to use. The next thing I bought was the um, Becca Shimmering Skin, no, it's the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It's this purple primer that they have and it's supposed to really brighten your face um, and that's just kind of what I'm going for right now since it's winter and my face is just really dry and my skin just looks very dull right now. I just purchased this to hopefully brighten up my complexion. Um, I've never tried it before, um, so, but I've seen a bunch of videos on it and reviews and it looks good on everyone else's skin, so maybe it'll look good on mine. So the next thing we have is this Becca Under Eye um, Corrector that I purchased. This guy I'm really excited about because I do have some dark circles under my eyes and like I said, everything creases on me. Ooh, that's really interesting. But everything I found creases on me, so I'm hoping if I put some type of moisturizer and then like a corrector under it, maybe that'll help lay a good foundation for under my eyes for my concealer then to go in and cover everything and maybe it just won't crease as bad if I do something like this. We'll see. And next is literally the first beauty blender I have ever purchased. I've always purchased like the e.l.f. sponges or the Real Technique sponges. I've never purchased an actual beauty blender and then I found out I got a discount on them at Mamie's with my artist discount so I went ahead and purchased one because I was like well it's cheaper so might as well try it. I like I said I'm just like I'm very frugal so I'm like $20 for a makeup sponge. Ooh it is very soft. It's so tiny oh my gosh. Is everyone so small? Did I order the right size? I hope I did but I hope I didn't order one of those mini ones. I think I think they get a lot larger like most sponges do um, whenever you wet them so I just got the nude one that they have because I feel like it'll hide all my foundation stains a little bit easier so that's what I purchased and next I have these um, Anastasia brow whizzes. I have used these before in my kit but these two I purchased for myself it's um, in the shades soft brown and dark brown um, I just, I use the NYX pencils. I've been using those. Uh, they're good dupe for these. They're really cheap, but um, I just, I feel like these just glide on a lot better and they are a lot more pigmented, pigmented and they stay better. So, and the spoolie on these are amazing. So I just went ahead and repurchased two of these for myself. And I think this is the last thing I purchased. I finally bit the bullet. I've been trying to resist for a while because I've heard so many good and bad reviews on this and you know everyone knows the recent drama with this company but I did purchase the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. I had a friend recently um, order it and she showed it to me and I just fell in love with the colors. Here let me show you. I just fell in love with the colors that are in this palette and this is pretty much the only but a goodie for YouTube. I mean people have had this for ever and there's a ton of reviews on it but I wanted to go ahead and purchase it just because I have green eyes and these red shades I feel like would look really um, pretty with my eye color so I went ahead and purchased it and I do plan on doing tutorials on this like I said um, there's probably a zillion of these tutorials on YouTube but one of my things about my channel is that I want to review things that are that have been out as well not stuff that's just coming out because whenever a big youtuber or someone with a bunch of influence reviews a palette like this a bunch of people go out and buy it and then that youtuber all the big youtubers move on to the next product because they they have a ton of stuff being sent to them every single week so they don't film tutorials with us anymore and so my kind of my passion with my channel is that I want to keep doing tutorials on products that people have gone out and spent their hard-earned money for and they want to learn how to use it. So um, I do plan on purchasing more products like I said that have been out for a while just so I continue just so I can continue creating content for people who have like I said spent their hard-earned money on something that um, they want to learn how to use and maybe want some new ideas on looks to create stuff like that so that is one thing that I cannot wait to do with this palette so that will probably be in my next first impressions like I said I'm going to film I'm probably going to film my first impressions on the majority of the stuff I because I pretty much have a full face of products I've purchased um, even though some of them aren't the first time I'm going to be using them I can go ahead and throw them in but yeah I cannot wait to try all these products and 
Thank you guys for sitting through this haul with me. I hope that you got some good ideas on some makeup that you might want to try out. And once I do a first impressions on them, maybe that can give you a better idea on whether these products work or not. So if you guys have purchased any new makeup lately, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you purchased and if it worked for you or not. Or if there's something that you want to purchase um, but aren't really sure and don't want to spend the money, Girl, that's what I'm here for. I would love to purchase some things and review for you guys. So just let me know um, what you guys are wanting to try or what you're wanting to see reviews on. And I'll do my best to go out and purchase it for you guys. Like I said, I get um, discounts on a bunch of makeup just due to my profession. So if it's something I can buy pretty affordable and review to, uh, for you guys before you go spend your money on it, I would love to do that for you. So just leave me a comment down below um, just with any requests you have on um, makeup that you want to see reviewed. And I'll do my best to make it happen for you. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for sitting through this haul with me. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And if you will, please hit the notification button so you can get notified anytime I post a new video and you don't miss anything. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Mwah. Why do companies put all of these little balls into a package that literally has like stuff this size? I could totally be an Instagram model. Pretty sure these earrings are too big for my face, but...